Wow, so we got some pretty big news today. Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here, coming at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! news video, or should I say TCG Player news video here. And today, TCG Player and eBay are joining forces, as they say right over here. We're going to read this article, and now I'm going to give you the pros and cons that I think of this. I think it's almost all pros, to be honest with you here, because I used to sell on eBay, and I can kind of tell what good changes it may bring to TCG Player. But we're going to read the article and find out, like usual, smash that like button, subscribe, and I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, this is my first initial thoughts. So, today we announced that TCG Player has signed a definite agreement to join forces with eBay, right? You may read it uh, as eBay acquiring TCG Player, and while it's technically accurate, unlike a traditional acquisition, TCG Player will operate independently, which is awesome. So, most likely, they'll be keeping everything the same unless something changes over here, you know? Uh, he will continue to lead the CEO over here. I'm skimming a little bit because I don't want you guys here forever. You know, you guys could read, but again, you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, so probably not. Maybe it's good that I read this for you guys. Uh, but on a personal note, today marks an incredible milestone for TC the TCG player team. I found TCG player to ensure that every team member embraced your passion for collectibles and could share in the company's success. And we built incredible tools and services that support you. And I'm probably sure that uh, as part of this transaction... All 688 TCG players, hourly and sour salaried, will share in the financial rewards of this deal as a result of our employee stock optional plan. That's actually very cool, and I don't want to skip over this just yet. Now, if I am incorrect, I am incorrect, but a stock option plan is very cool because I remember when Walmart and Walgreens actually used to pay in stocks. You know, I remember my father actually used to talk about that and how he actually earned stocks like that. I don't know if that's exactly the same, but if they are doing something like that, I think that's really, really awesome. Uh, but the fact that, you know, some of their employees are going to get some financial awards, I like to I like to see that, you know. Now, I am confident that with eBay's uh, partnership, we will be even better positioned to serve the collectible community. We will have the opportunity to benefit from eBay's decades of industry experience and deep financial resources. This is something that at the end of the video, I really want to get into when I talk about the pros especially of this. But very quickly, uh, I think TCG Player is going to be able to expand, get a lot more done, you know, get do some things they weren't able to previously, and they're going to be able to have that financial resource to do so, which is pretty good. And to expand our catalog of products, level up our tools and services, it's basically saying everything I'm thinking over here. Uh, importantly, there will be no changes in how we work with customers. You can expect the same high-quality service. Tools product okay, it's repeating a little bit here. It means that any orders you placed are going to remain unchanged. Contacts will remain the same. All business continues as normal. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you this: when a smaller company gets acquired by a bigger company, it doesn't mean that there's going to be no changes. There just isn't going to be any immediate changes. So in six months, I expect some more changes. And like I said, we don't really know what this is going to imply, and that's where I'm going to get into the pros here. So. As a seller from eBay, I'll tell you that one of the greatest things about selling on eBay was the cheap tracking. Uh, it was about 99 cents, I think. Some people say it was like 57 or something cheaper than a dollar. I always saw it as 99 cents, and that's pretty awesome because if you guys don't know, some TCG player sellers have to pay quite a bit for tracking. In fact, a lot of TCG players have to pay more, way more than 99 cents tracking. So when it says the resources, I'm wondering if TCG player is going to acquire something where hey we could track orders and that would be great for two reasons number one the seller gets a lot cheaper tracking which means you know we have more of a profit margin meaning we could list cards for less and it also means that it's because uh tcg player for those who don't know it makes you track cards are 39.99 or above i believe now I personally track 30 above. You'll see some trackers do 25 and above, 35 or above, or sometimes they'll just do the standard 40, right? It depends on what seller you're really talking to because I've seen multiple people do it differently. I will say with this uh, change, I think that a lot of TCG player sellers are actually going to track at less because if you could track, say, at 99 cents, you're not really going to blink too much at a $25 order being tracked. Unless you have to, pay, but if you have to pay, say, anywhere from three to five dollars of tracking, it's a little bit different. So I think that's one huge positive that works for the consumer and the uh, seller because getting a twenty dollar order lost in mail uh, is really a really unfortunate. So the second 
Uh, benefit I see here is actually PSA cards. Now, you could sell TC PSA cards on TCG Player, but I'm wondering, and again, this is my initial thoughts here, so nothing set in stone uh, for anything that I said, but to eBay likes to sell PSA cards, and I think it's going to be really cool to see uh, if more if we're going to get more PSA cards sold on TCG Player. I think a lot of people actually really like that, especially collectors, because if you're never going to play the card, having an awesome case for a PSA card, and I'm actually going to show you guys something I got recently here. Uh, this is a PSA 9 uh, Exosister Metallus that I acquired for myself, and I think that a lot more players would rather just get a PSA card than deal with the whole process of PSA a card themselves. I definitely know that I fit into the camp where I'd rather just get the card, PSA card, get it over with. Uh, but not just as a collector here. So I think that's another positive that may come, as well as cross-listing. If you guys don't know what cross-listing is, essentially you get to list on TTG Player on eBay. You kind of get to link up what you have. And let's say you sell a card on tcg player its quantity will be zero on ebay so it's not going to like double sell if that makes sense and vice versa that is something that might come as well uh but we're not too sure i don't think that tcg player is going to change any of the way it operates because it has a really great way of operating and i think maybe that's why ebay and tcg player are linking up together but again we don't know exactly what changes are going to happen you know uh, and there's probably more benefits for sellers as well, which is really good. In fact, this might help the market even as well. So again, if people are going to be able to list for cheaper, you never know. Now, there, the cons of this agreement is that we don't really exactly know everything about it just yet. Uh, we're going to have to see how everything kind of links up and how everything is. Uh, I also know that a lot of people buy off TCG Player because it's not eBay. Now, personally, I've had some pretty good experiences on eBay uh, as a buyer. And um, as a seller, they're just, I, I'm going to be honest, eBay might have that 99 cent off tracking shipping, all that. But I think TCG Player is leagues ahead of selling. And that's why I sell on TCG Player uh, a lot now. So. I, I think this could be a good thing. I know a lot. usually a bigger company acquiring a smaller company isn't that great. You know, we look at some companies like Sony, for example. Um, I think they just, you know, the entire Western anime. That's going to be a discussion I'm going to probably have on Team Neptunia. Uh, if you guys don't know, that's my secondary channel. But, you know, sometimes when a bigger company acquires a smaller one, there's a lot of things to worry about, which some of you, I feel like, is going to uh, about some of you are going to tell me in the comment section below about that. Uh, and I think that you guys are going to have a lot of valid points there. So I will definitely be reading the comments and all that. Uh, I'm personally excited. I am optimistic about this change. I think a lot more good is going to come from it. And, I'll, you know, hopefully I am right. I think I am going to be. So I will see you guys later on today for a market watch. I want to, So you guys are going to get a double upload, which is awesome. Uh, shout out to my editor, Josh, for giving me this thumbnail as well. Uh, you know, check him out. He's one of the featured channels. He does a lot of deck profiles, all that. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.